There is somebody here God is ready to bless. I don't know who the person is. If you are the person, say, I am the person. Lift up your hands. We want to bless God for the life of our father. Papa Archbishop Cotino. Papa Archie Cotino. We also want to thank God for the life of our mother. And all the pastors that have kept this ministry alive. God bless everybody. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Grace, for the great work you're doing. Pastor Grace, merci mingi pour l'angolo. Tonight, na poko alelo. Every yoke in your life. Shall be broken by fire. I wish I can hear an amen. Your yoke will be broken now. I wish I can hear amen. Your yoke will be broken now. I wish I can hear amen. Your yoke will be broken now. Shout it louder! Amen. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Merci, Seigneur Jésus. I want us to pray four prayers tonight. Nangito sala prière ya quatre requêtes na poko alelo. The first prayer tonight. Lo samba li boso poko alelo. Is a prayer against delay. Ezali lo samba contre moli mo retard. Delay. Retard. Delay. Retard. One of the worst things that can fight a man is delay. Moko kat na makambale ki mabe minge kombu ni sabomo ya moto ezali retard. When you are delayed in life, tangu yosa na retard na vina yo, you can cry all the days of your life. Oko ki kole la mikolo nyo sabomo ina yo. When you are delayed in life, tangu yosa na retard na vina yo, you know the Bible said there were ten virgins. How many virgins? Ten. Combien de vierges? Ten virgins. Dix vierges. When they were leaving their house, none was wise. None, none was foolish. They were just ten virgins. But along the line, Five became wise. Cinq makoma ki sage. Five became foolish. Et cinq autres makoma ki batoma boma. Why did five become foolish? Pona nini cinq makoma ki fall? They became foolish because the bridegroom delayed. Makoma ki fall parce que mobali alibala azaka azaka ko koma na tango akoma ki na retard. It was the delay of the bridegroom. Ezala ki retard mobali alibala. That made five virgins foolish. Because they didn't have extra oil. If the bridegroom did not delay, they would not be foolish virgins. So what does delay do to a man? Delay makes you behave like a foolish person. When you are delayed, foolishness comes in. One day, Abraham called his servants. Abraham, he said, make a prayer. And Eliezer made one prayer. You know what Eliezer said? Eliezer said, oh Lord, have mercy on my father Abraham and give me good speed. That's the prayer of Eliezer. I studied that scripture. 
And I began to ask myself, why will you pray that kind of prayer? Have mercy on my father Abraham and give me good speed. Eliezer studied the life of Abraham. Everything that happened in Abraham's life were delayed. At 75 years, he was still in his father's house. And God said, I want to do business with you. Because you are still in your father's house. You cannot do business. Leave your father's house and become a man. So he became a man at the age of 75. He had his first child at the age of 100. Retard. When Isaac was born, there was no strength for Abraham to throw him up. Because he was an old man. There is a blessing that God will give you. At the age of 90, that blessing becomes a curse. Whatever God needs to do for you, God has to do it now. 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 Lift up your two hands. Take that prayer. Say, my father, my father. I don't like the way you pray here. Have you been to Nigeria before? When we pray in Nigeria, we see the devil. Sorry. We see the devil in to, our face. We pray like the devil is around us. We scream. We tear down mountains. And we destroy what is destroying us. Let the Nigerian anointing come upon you. Lift up your two hands. Say, my father, my father. Any spirit of delay. Any spirit of delay fighting my family. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Enough is enough. Trop, c'est trop. 
I say enough is enough. Dans vie, trop, c'est trop. Look at your neighbor. Say enough is enough. Dans la voisin, ayo, yé, vis, ayé, trop, c'est trop. Shout it, say enough is enough. Dans la maca, si trop, c'est trop. Say enough is enough. Dans la trop, c'est trop. Revelation chapter 5. Apocalypse chapter 5. Verse 1. Verse Ayambo. Apocalypse chapter 5. Nous lisons le verset premier. Puis je vis dans la main de celui qui était assis sur le trône un livre écrit en dedans et en dehors, scellé de sept sceaux. Revelation chapter 5. Yeah. From verse 1 to 5. I'm there. From verse 1 to 5. Okay, I'm continuing. Start afresh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nous avons lu Apocalypse chapitre 5, nous lisons du cinquième verset, du premier verset jusqu'au cinquième. Puis j'ai vu dans la main de celui qui était assis sur le trône. Un livre écrit en dedans et en dehors. Scellé de sept sceaux. Et je vis un ange puissant. Qui criait d'une voix forte. Qui est digne d'ouvrir les livres. Et d'en rompre les sceaux. Et personne dans le ciel, ni sur la terre, ni sous la terre, ne peut ouvrir les livres, ni les regarder. Et je pleurais beaucoup de ce que personne ne fit trouver digne d'ouvrir les livres, ni de les regarder. Et l'un des veillards me dit Ne pleure pas. Point. Voici Tala. les lions de la tribu de Juda, Yuda. les rejetons de la ville, a vaincu Alonga. pour ouvrir les livres et c'est cette sceau. Parole du Seigneur. Amen. I don't even know what they read. What did they read about? What did you read about? Revelation 5. What did you read about? It's about John. Amen. Language is, language is powerful. Les langues sont puissantes. Stretch your two hands. Sembola mabogono mi bale. Sembola mabogono mi bale. Look at me. Talangai. The writer of the book of Revelation was Apostle John. Apostle John de Akomaka Apocalypse. Apostle John had a brother called James. Apôtre Jean a zara kana de kwa mobali na kombo ya Jacques. Listen to me. Yokanga malam. Tonight. Na pokwa lelo. I brought the power of God. Na memi nguya na nzambe. And the power of God is going to break every yoke in your life and generation. Pe nguya na nzambe wana ekobuka monyololo nyoso jug nyoso o ezali koskanga vina yo to libota na yo. The writer of the book of Revelation was Apostle John. Mokomi ya livre Apocalypse na ki Apostle John. Apostle John was one of the 12 apostles. Apostle John azala ki moko kata ba Apostle 12. He had a brother called James. Azala ki na de kwa mobile na kombo ya Jacques. The Bible says. Bible solo ba. In Acts chapter 12. Na Acts chapter 12. Is a Herod. Herod took James. Azwa ka Jacques. And killed him with his sword. When he killed him with his sword, he saw that the people liked it. As soon as James died, John said to himself, James said to himself, John said to himself, John said to himself, What killed my brother cannot kill me. The first prayer I want to pray for you tonight, if you are under the sound of my voice, by the power of God, you will not die before your time. You will not die before your time. You will not die before your time. What killed your brothers will not kill you. 
Magoka yote. What killed your fathers will not kill you. Ebo maki papa na yeko longa yote. Any covenant of death over your head. Alios nyoso ya kufa ni kolona motona yo. Any covenant of death over your life. Alios nyoso ya kufa ni kolona fina yo. Tonight. Na poko alelo. I break it by fire. Abuki angona moto. I break it by fire. Ezika na moto. I break it by fire. Ezika na moto. I break it by fire. Ezika na moto. I break it by fire. Ezika na. I break it by fire. Ezila. I break it by fire. Ezufa. I break it by fire. Ezika na. In the name of Jesus. Oh no day. Listen, Yoka. Listen. John refused to die. John, abaya kiko kufa. Apostle, apostle. John was the last apostle to die. John, azala ki le dernier apostle a Jesus na kuku. Peter died. Pierre a sakufaka. Matthew died. Matthew a sakufaka. Even Luke, who was a medical doctor, died. Même Luke, azala ki munga na kufaka deja. But John said, "Katu Jacques alobaka." What killed my brother? Oye boma ki nako langa mobali. Cannot kill. Ngai kolonga ngai te. Unia manakala parasa. Fanina ne mehayate. Jene manataya. I just entered sixteen families now. Na kote na sense families siko. Sixteen families. Na moli mo na kote na sense families. I'm seeing an evil man in your father's house. Na zomo na doki mo kona libota tata na bindo. Who kills people? Oya mesana kobo mabato. Who takes the life of people? Oya zaka bomo ya bato. You are sixteen families and you are here. Eza na sense families na zolo bela siko. Anywhere that evil man is. No kwa na nyoso libota tata na bindo wana. Seven days from now. Is he said to rule? Them die. Ba no kwa na nyoso ba kufa. Let them die. Ba kufa. 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 Listen, Yoka. Listen, Yoka. Mama. Mama. When I was building my house in the village. Tangu na zaiko tonganda kuna kana village na biso. I built my duplex in the village 2009. Na 2009 na tongaki nda kumoka deux étages na village na biso. I was 22 years. A l'époque na zaki na 22 ans. God blessed me very early. Zamba pamo langa na bolenge penda bakas. When I started the duplex. Tano mane kuto nda kuna deux étages. There was an evil man. Ezalaki na ndo kimoko. Who found? Oyo alapakandai. That nobody will build an upstairs. Ete mutu moko ta kuto nda kuna étage na village. Our place. When we started it, he met my father and told my father that he would take his life. Give me your two hands, everybody. Stretch your two hands. Stretch your two hands. Stretch your two hands. Stretch your two hands. Stretch those two hands. He met my father. And he told my father that in seven days he would die. My father said, Why? Papa nanga tu niye pona nini? He said, How can you start a duplex without taking permission from me? Aye bisi papa nanga nenge nini yoko kuzupa na kutonga na kuwa dos etages na mboka au yosaki yosau autorisation na gai. And that day my father came back. Ukolona papa nanga zongi nandaku. I saw my father. Namoni papa. He was looking very moody. Azobona na mawa makasi. He was not smiling. Azo sekate. He was not laughing. Kona zalaki ko sekata mukete. Azo papa. Latuni e papa. What's the problem? The kamboni ni boy. Why are you like this? Pwani no sama mawa boy. He didn't want to talk. Papa zoni ngako sola kutete. After much question. Nasima ko tungi sena mitune bele bele. He now told me. Aye koye misanga boy. That he had a problem with Uncle Maxwell. I'm thinking na zaki na problem ogona Tonto Maxwell. I said, what's the problem? Natuni likamuni ni. He told me the problem. Aye misinga likambango. I said, Uncle Maxwell said he would die in seven days. Aye misinga. Tonto Maxwell alo baki na ya koku fa na set show. That man is very bad. Papa ona asamu tu mabe makasi. That Uncle Maxwell is a very bad man. Uncle Maxwell, Tonto Maxwell, lakimu tu mabe makasi. If he tells you you will die, so kabisa koku fa. 
He will tell you, go and ask joy. I told her. John. The joy she's telling you to go and he's telling you to go and ask was buried three years ago. The If he tells you you will die, so He will tell you go and ask James. I told him. The James was buried two months ago. So when he kills, he tells you I'm the one that killed. Very evil man. When two powers jam. Sorry? When two powers jam. When two powers collide. The lesser power must pass. My father told me what the man said. I said to my father, What did you reply? My father said he told him, Uncle, you cannot be saying this. So. I became angry. You cannot touch everybody and go free. I prayed that night. All night. I prayed. In the morning. I told my father. I want to travel to the village. He said to do what? I told him, As I'm going to see Uncle Max. You say you cannot go. Please. You are my only child. You cannot go. I said, Papa. Every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner. I need to go. He was looking at me. Papa He was looking at me. He was looking at me. Azotala. I wore my clothes. I took one of my friends. We're about to leave. He called me back. Papa And he gave me three elders from our church. And he prayed for me. He said I can go. When we drove we drove into Uncle Maxwell's place. When we drove into his house, my village was four hours from where we live. When we got there, the man was coming out with his bicycle. He saw me. He stopped. Me. And he asked me a question. He said, has your father sent you to come and beg me? I said, no. I looked at him. I said, I'm not here to beg you. Who permitted you? To tell my father he will die in seven days. I say it's too much for you, sir. I say I came so that you will reverse that thing you said. He looked at me. He said, Be careful. What will happen to your father will happen to you. I said it cannot happen to my father. Talk more of me. I said renounce what you told my father. He could, he didn't talk anything. I said renounce what you told my father. He was laughing at me. I looked at him. I took sand from the ground. I opened my hands. And I said to him. My father will not die. But you, three days from now, this ground will swallow you. When I made that statement, the man brought out his hand. He said I should bet him. That on my way back to where I came from, that I will die on the road. 
when he brought out his hand, I lifted my hand and I bet him. When I bet him, he began to say things I was not hearing. You know, this incantation. He began to say things I was not hearing. When he was saying what I was not hearing, I decided to say what he will not hear. I began to blast in tongues. I spoke in tongues in capital letters. I spoke The man closed his mouth. He was looking at me. I finished speaking in tongues. I took sand from his compound. I entered the car. And we are leaving. When we were leaving, when we are leaving, we got to the junction. The three, the three elders that were with me, they said to me, man of God, when you get to the junction, please stop. We want to go and see somebody. My brother's sister's son gave birth to a child. We want to go there. They were afraid. They didn't want to die. I parked the car. And I said to them, if you come down, what that man said will happen. But if you stay with me, it will not happen. I say you can go. They refuse to go again. They say we are not going. He say, let's go. We drove that day. So many nearlies. So many nearly small. By the end of the day, we arrive safely. After after two days, the man slept in the night, and he did not wake up again in the morning. I prophesy to you any evil man in your father's house any evil man in your mother's house in the name of Jesus no matter the economic state of your life please Don't die. Don't die. A living dog is better than a dead lion. John could not die. Jean Matanga. They brought John. They took a knife. They wanted to kill him. The knife bent into two. They became confused. Somebody said, We can take him to an industrial place where they fry akara, where they fry bones. So they called the woman. She put Pot on the fire. Filled it with oil. But And the fire was so hot. They carried John. They wanted to fry John. When they threw John inside the oil. Tango by boiling oil. They were waiting for him to fry like chicken. Can I shock you? He did not fry. What did the oil do? All the pimple on his face. 
The oil was removing all of them. The oil was making him a fine boy. They waited and waited. He didn't die. Can I shock you? All those waiting for you to die. They will wait in vain. It will not happen. They will wait in vain. When the viper, when the viper beat Paul in the hand. The Bible said they were waiting for him to die. And they didn't see him die. They will wait in vain. Somebody said, Okay, now that he didn't fry in the oil, there is an, there is an island. An island. Is an ill moko called Patimios. Oba bengi na kumba Patmos. He said, "Let us go and throw him there." Babi toke na kumba kena ill Patmos. Hey, le de bahaya tazaka. And they carried him. Babi mi show. Why did they want to throw him in the island? Poni baringa baba kena kuna na ill de Patmos. Because the island has dangerous animals. Po ezaleki na ba nyama zamba kuna lion. Ba leon. Leopard. Ba leopard. Tiger, hippopotamus, hippopotamus. Seen many, so many animals. They said if we throw him there, animals will devour him. They carried him. The day they got to the island, and they threw John into the island. As soon as John landed the island, all the animals traveled to Dubai. All of them. All of them. All of them. Even one was not there. And instead of John dying, he began to see revelation. He stayed chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. A combien Apocalypse chapitre 1, 2, 3, 4. Et 4. In chapter 5, where we read. Na chapitre 5 est pas et au Tangaki. Listen to me. Yo Kanga Balam. The Bible said. Bible Zoloba. He saw a book. A monaki livre moko. Listen to me carefully. Yo Kanga Balam. John saw a book that had writings inside and outside. But he said the book was closed. And it was sealed with seven seals. Everything John was supposed to write was inside that book. The book of Revelation from chapter 5 to chapter 22 was not a fresh revelation. It was written already in a book. John only needed to copy and paste. copy that was all he needed to do. But the Bible said the book was closed and it was sealed. Every, everybody listening to me here you have a book of your destiny. If the book of your destiny is open things will be going well. If it is closed, nothing will happen. I want to ask you a question. Who closed your book? What I came 
to do tonight is to release the power of God over the book of your destiny so that every seal on your destiny shall be broken by fire. Who closed my book? How do you know your book is closed? When you are beautiful without marriage, your book is closed. When you are a graduate without a job, your book is closed. When you are married without a child, your book is closed. When you are working without promotion, your book is closed. When you are looking for visa and you cannot get your visa, your book is closed. Who closed my book? There are families that are listening to me. If you enter their family, things are closed. Things are closed. Things are closed. I was in a church like this. I was preaching in a service like this. A lady ran to me and heard my leg and she shouted they have finished my family. I said, where do you live? She said, I live Three minutes from the church. I told her, God said I should visit your house as I'm leaving. She said, Thank you, Jesus. I mercy, Jesus. Can I shock you? When we got to her house, we entered her compound. She took me to the first room. I saw a boy on chain. I saw a boy on chain. Leg and hand. He was mad. He took me to the second room. I saw the second son. With chain. Leg and hand. She took me to the third room. I saw the son. With chain. Leg and hand. She took me to the boy's quarter behind. And I saw another boy. She had four boys. And they made the four of them mad. Four of them. Four of them. When I saw the situation, tears rolled down my eyes. She was crying. The boys were behaving like foolish people. And the Lord said to me, the Lord said to me, they can all year go in front of their place and break the oil. I took an olive oil. I went to the front of their compound. I lifted the oil. I spoke in tongues. And I broke the oil. And I left. The next morning, the woman that made the children mad every morning she comes to see this woman and to tell her sorry. It will be well. She never knew. She was the one that made them mad. That morning, as she was coming, she crossed the oil I broke. 
Something entered her. She began to misbehave. She began to misbehave. She began to confess. All of a sudden, the first song started asking, Why am I on chain? Why am I on chain? He said, Remove this thing from me. The second song, Why am I on chain? Remove this thing from me. Four of them, their senses came back. Their senses came back. And that woman, she ran mad. She was confessing. She was throwing herself around. And that night, she killed herself. Listen. Yoka. Listen to me. Yoka Gamalam. Listen. Yoka. When the power of God arrives, broken yokes. Yokes can be broken. You didn't hear what I said. Get ready. I'm about to pray. As I'll be praying now, God will open your eyes. I will travel with you to your village now. Now, now, now. now. As we are praying now, God will open your eyes. God will open your eyes. We will travel to your village. Any evil that has been done in that place, it shall be scattered by fire. Stretch your two hands. Who closed your book? Who is that person? That has closed the destiny of your children. Every day you look at your children. You cry. You look at your children. You weep. Something somewhere. Quelque part, something somewhere has closed their destiny. One day, Bukolomoko. I was in a place they call Umahia. In Nigeria. When I was in Umahia, I was in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria. When I was in Umahia. When I was in Umahia. When I was in Nigeria. When I was in Umahia. When I went for a night vigil. Na kine kina veye moko. When I finished preaching. Na sima nanga koteya. I posted on Facebook. Na yeko biblia ba kamera Facebook. And I wrote on Facebook. Pena komi boye. I said Umahia done and dusted. Na bi Umahia nza ba visite bino. One of my friends, who is a pastor in Umahia, he saw, he saw my post on Facebook. And he called me. I didn't pick, I was sleeping. He called my PA. He said, which hotel are you guys? He told him. He drove to the hotel. He came to my room. And he woke me up. He said, how far? I said, I'm okay. He said, I get traditional, I have traditional marriage to attend. My daughter in the church. He said, how many cars did you come with from away? I said, four. He said, okay, good, 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 good. He said, I need your cars to join my own cars so that the convoy can belong so that when I come they will know that the pastor of the girl has come I said carry my cars I'm not going I want to sleep he said please now follow me as I don't have strength he said just wear anything let's go I said okay wait 
I took my shower. I took my shower quickly. And and then I dressed up. We entered the car. And we left for the traditional marriage. Listen. When we entered the compound of the people, we stopped. We came down. My friend, we are going into the compound. I looked by my right. I saw five people sitting down under a tree playing draft. You know draft? Yes, sir. I was playing, they were playing draft. I looked carefully. Natalie Four of them were old men. Very old. Above 80 years. One of them was a young boy of about 35. I said, What is a young boy doing among old men? I said, this is not normal. I left the wedding at the compound. And I began to go to that place. And they were, he was busy playing, laughing. <laughs> he was playing, he was laughing. I got there. Something pushed me. I lifted my hands. I laid on his head. And I spoke in tongues. While I was speaking in tongues, the old men were looking at me. He was looking at me. Suddenly, something hit him. He shouted and he fell on the floor. While he shouted and fell on the floor, the oldest woman in that family La femme la plus âgée, donc maman elle qui mon colo elle est bonne tawana, il y a mariage coutumier. In her room, na kata chambre na yé. She also shouted. Yé pa yé ko ganga. Fell on the floor. A quoi il a fait? And she had paralysis. Pe ayé ko sa paralysie. So the young boy was on the floor outside. Boy, what a mobile owner as a lucky ya na. The woman was shouting inside. Pe mama koko ona. People gathered. She began to confess. What happened? The young boy came back from America. He was in US Army. When he came back, he was settling his family. He gave the old woman money. She took the money, went to a native doctor, and closed the book of this boy. And the native doctor took the money, put it inside the pot. And told her to keep it under her bed. When the young boy finished what he was doing, he went to Lagos. On his way back to America. When he got to the airport, he forgot what he came to do in the airport. He was in the airport. His flight left. He didn't know what he was doing. He went to a hotel. He spent eight months in the hotel. Spending money. When all the money finished. He now went back to the village. For three and a half years. For three and a half years. He was in the village. Behaving like a foolish boy. American citizen. Citoyen American Mobimba. Nobody knew what was wrong. He was just a village boy. She began to confess. She said, I took the money he gave me. And I tied his destiny. 
It is under my bed. They went and brought open her, open her bed. And they saw the pot. They brought out the pot. And they saw the money that this boy gave her three and a half years ago. They brought it out. The in-laws that came to marry ran away. There was confusion everywhere. I took the money. And God told me. He said, pour fuel. And put fire. I looked at the people there. I said, when you burn a currency, it is against the law. I said, when you burn a currency, it is against the law. I got it here. I said nobody should video. So I spread on the money. I poured fuel on it. And I put fire. As soon as the money started burning, the young boy who was on the floor, he jumped up and he began to shout. I'm missing my flight. I'm missing my flight. I'm missing my flight. I'm missing my flight. He didn't know. He missed his flight four years ago. Who closed my book? The Bible says when John saw the book, he began to cry. He began to cry. He began to cry. He began to cry. He said, who closed my book? When they close your book, you cry. If you are crying every day, something has closed something somewhere. I am here to lose it. I am here to lose it. You will know that God came. I, I, am, am, I said I am here to lose that thing that was locked. Lift up. If all is well with you, so please don't pray. But if you know something is wrong somewhere, pray like your life is on this prayer. As we shall be praying, the power of God will lose in this house. And people shall begin to be loose. Anywhere they tied you, you shall be loose now. Say, my father, my father. Anywhere they close my book. Shout it, shout it. Makasi, bisi kanyo so bakanga li fravina ngayo. In the name of Jesus. Yesu. I lose my book. Na fongo li li fravina ngayi. I lose my book. Na fongo li li fravina ngayi. I lose my book. Na fongo li li fravina ngayi. Papa, <laughs> Ya kolonga na ngezo fongwa ma Ya komata na ngezo fongwa ma Na kombo na Yesu Na kombo na Yesu Lifo ya destine na ma Ezo fongwa ma Butu ya lelo O non de Jesus O non de Jesus O non de Jesus 
In Jesus' name we pray. Oh no, Lift up your two hands. Lift your two all eyes closed. All eyes closed. My, my, my. Lift up your two hands. My, Lift up your two hands. We are going to shout fire. Tokoganga moto. We are going to shout fire. Tokoganga moto. Fourteen times. Quatorze fois to gobele la moto. Listen, Yoka. As we shout fire, pana ke tozo bele la moto. Anywhere they tied you, bisika nyo so bakanga yo. Anywhere they tied you, bisika nyo so bakanga yo. As we shout fire, tangu tozo bele la moto. Fourteen. Catorze fois. Anywhere they tied you, they will lose you by fire. They will lose you by force. They will lose you by force. They will lose you by force. Anywhere they tied you, anywhere they tied you. Lift up your two hands. Father, Papa, any attack, attack nyoso, any family here, libota nyoso za awa. Any family here. Libota nyoso za awa. Under satanic attack. Oyo satan azaliko atake. In your dream. Na nzela na ndoto. You see snake in your dream. Mbona ba nyoka na ndoto. Snake move around your body. Oso mbona ba nyoka nzinga nzinga na you. Bad, bad luck follow you everywhere. Oso na mali show sela na kao patu. We are going to shout fire. Toko bele la moto. Anything that has locked your life. Eloko nyoso e bloka vina yo. It shall lose your life by fire now. Eko zika na moto anzambe siko yo. When they tie something, so kima kangi eloko. If you want to lose what is tied, so kolo ngi kofongo la eloko la kanga. You lose it. Oko balok sango. Mama, if you tie me now, mama so kolo kangi sika. And I want to lose myself. Pena ngi kofse libere. I lose the rope. Na kobaluka. You tie me. O kangi ngana singa. I lose the rope. Pena ngana kobaluka na ngabo mosu. So we shout fire fourteen times. So kolo bela la moto katorze fois. If you shout the first one, so kolo bela libala liboso. You lose yourself. O baluki na lo. You shout the second one. Oh, gang in desert four. You lose yourself. Oh, baluki li suso. If they tied your marriage, so ki ba kanga li bala na yo. This night, na poko alelo. We are losing you now. Tozo kanga la yo si koyo. Lift up your two hands. Bogo mi bala li kolo. All eyes closed. Kanga mi suna yo. If you shout number one, so ko gang in bala li boso. You turn around and lose yourself. Oh, baluki pona ko mi fongo la. Number two. Until number 14, the power of God shall lose you. Lift up your hands. Anywhere they tied you, anywhere they tied your family, in the name of Jesus, as you shout fire. Shatala Bahaya. 
Make sure you are shouting like a believer. Shout fire number three. Shout fire number four. Yes, 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 yes. Shout fire number five. Rakata la barakata barakaya la 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 bara. Era papa ya da da la bahaya. Shout fire number six.
Shabra. Okunia le barasa. Okeketenga. Eba babalia le dehes. Protocol bring all of them out. Melia la bahasa. Who blocked your life? Nana kanga vina yo. Who blocked your life? Who blocked your destiny? Who blocked your career? Who is that devil? Break now! Break now! Listen! Listen! Lift your hands! Lift your hands! Lift your hands. Don't pull up my body, Kolo. Don't pull up my body, Kolo. Put a goyamba. Lift your hands. Don't pull up my body, Kolo. Mama. Mama. Diara, listen. Yoka. Listen. Yoka. Diara, thirty people. Is that a thought person? You are thirty people. Is that a thought person? Before now. Liboso. You used to see vision. You can see anything that wants to happen. If anything wants to happen in your family, God will show it to you. Before now. But currently, you don't see again. You don't hear again. That gift has gone. You are 30 in number. The Lord said to me, a garment of prophecy, a garment of prophecy is about to leave me and it will come upon 30 people. I don't know where they are, but your eyes will open, your ear will open, you shall begin to see. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Anywhere they are, let your power, let your power, let your power, let your power, let your power. At the count of three, one, two, three, power! Ayala Barakosha. Ilamanda, zilelelelelele, shenene ne ne mele doko, kama ya kabahaya, iya la barosa. There are three people. You are receiving double portion. Double portion. Double portion. Double portion. You are three number. Oh, you take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Can I can I step out? I want to release something outside. Hey. 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 Hey! Hey! Ayana Mashanda! No, 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 come leave. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. Come out. Elemani. Elemo Shana Manahaya. If you're outside, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Those of you outside. Lift up. Don't open my book, Nicolo. You are outside, lift up your hands. Holy Ghost, tonight, I release your power. I release your power. There are 11 of them outside. There are 11 of them outside. The Lord said to me, God wants to use you. 
to liberate your family. God wants to use you to liberate your generation. To liberate your generation. The grace I carry. Let it come upon you. Let it come upon you. You are 11 in number. You are 11 in number. At the count of three. Let the power of God come. One. Two. There's a dimension. Is that a dimension? God is going to take you. That dimension, dimension. will be brutal. Dimension is a brutal. That dimension, dimension wanna... will be very brutal. Because I'm very brutal. When I'm living here on Sunday, that dimension. any clothes I will wear to preach, I will give it to you. And I will tell you what you do with it. When I leave, something will enter you. The whole world, they will shake when you arrive. The whole Nations are open. Nations are open to you. Nations. I see presidents bow to her. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. You cannot walk on the street alone again. Lift up your hands. 
Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I'm hearing something like trezor, trezor. Trezor, trezor. Trezor, trezor. Trezor. Trezor is an I don't know if that is a name. Trezor. Trezor. Something like Iyala. Trezor Iyala. So, no, something like Yala, Yala, Yala. Trezor. Yala, Trezor. Trezor Yala. Yala. Trezor. Trezor. Trezor Yala. Yala. Trezor Yala. Stand here. Tell him out. I want to give, stand. I want to give you an instruction. Are you Trezor Yala? Est-ce que you're Trezor Yala? Micro, micro, micro. Put mic now. Bobe se micro, bobe se micro. Kania Masa. Shamanata. Ebeke Keta. Are you Trezor Yala? Est-ce que you're Trezor Yala? I'm seeing one. La zone on a un, two, deux, three, trois. I'm seeing four children. La zone on a bana quatre. I'm seeing four children. La zone on a bana quatre. Oui. True. Oui. Et ça boye? I'm not seeing a wife. La zone on a moi cité. You are not married. On a marié te. There's a girl in your house now. Et ça la moi la moi c'est mon grand dame qu'on a eu sikoyo. She's in your house now. As a dame qu'on a eu sikoyo. But you're not married to her. Mais yo obala ena nute. Her name is Amina. Komoneza Amina. Can I prophesy? Eske na koki kosa kola. Mama, do I have some more time? Do I have a little time? Can I get a little time? Nati kana gonga mukuse. Go say that should tell you. Zamba sengi na yebi sayo. Go and marry her. Kende kobala mwana masuana Amina. The miracle you are looking for, miracle Oyo Zoluka, is in her hands. Ezana maboko ya Amina. What you are looking for, Oyo Zoluka na vina yo, is in her hands. Ezana maboko na ye. Go and marry her. Kende kobala ye. The day you marry her, mukolo yo kobala ye. Kneel down. Fukama. Tell her to pray for you. Ye bisaye asambe la pona yo. After that prayer. Nasima losambo amina wana likolona yo. You will become a millionaire. Oko koma millionaire en dollar. You will get a contract. You will get a contract. Oko soa contract. After the prayer. Nasima na losambo wana. It will be connected to the presidency. Eko connected on a president. It will have something to do with television. Eko zala makambata li television. Shanda manatala. Likuni asakiria. Abalara. Megegete natala baratia. Anywhere they have closed your book. This night, as a prophet of God, I declare your books are open. In the name of Jesus. Oh, no, Give me your two hands. Mama, Mama, I want to pray. Let us be silent. Kimia, s'il vous plaît, Kimia. Oh, ya gatia. Kimia, s'il vous plaît. Something is doing me now. Elo komo ko zoning gisanga si koyo. Come, come. Yaka, yaka. Bring that small demon. Mama, demon na mukie awa. Bring that small, that small. Demon na mukie awa na mama ye awa. Come, come, come. Yes. Yaka, yaka. Stay quiet, stay quiet. Kimia, Father stay Kimia, quiet. Father down, Kimia. Leave him. Tikaye. Leave her, leave her. Botikaye. Stay quiet. Botikaye. Stay quiet. Ania tosi aleke vata. Listen. Yoka. Ayu kwati ya ne meshi natala. If the power of God touched you while I was praying. So kingu ya nanzambe kitela kiyota unazale kosambela. Can I do this later because of time? Yeah. I can do this tomorrow because of time. 
I, I, I wanted to do something now, but because of time, I will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will do it. Or maybe Sunday morning. The Lord told me. He said, any altar. I mean, hotel in your soul. Where they have tied your destiny. Today, Lelo. I hit my hand on the altar of my father. Archbishop Dr. Coutinho. Archbishop Dr. Coutinho. Let this altar swallow every altar where they tied you. Emela. Sunday, Ganga, Amen, Lokola, Kake. Lift your two hands. Let there be silence. Kimia, s'il vous plaît. Silence. Kimia. Oga, oh yes, yes. S'il vous plaît, on, papa. Hold on. Papa, s'il vous plaît, Zela. Hold on. Zela. Hold on. Zela. Bring her. Take her up, take her up. Bring her up, bring her up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Madam. 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 No, 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 leave her, leave her. Botika, etika. Madam. Madam. Listen. Yoka. Listen. Yoka. Close your mouth. Close your Kanga mouth. Yo. Close your mouth. Fanda Kimia. Close your mouth. Fanda Kimia. What is she saying? Azolbanini. Why did you bring me here? Eh? Why did you bring me here? How long have you been in this body? How long? How long? Answer me. How long? How long? How long? How long? How long? How long have you tied this body? Oh, Why did you bring me here? You demon. Yo demon. In the name of Jesus. Na na yesu. I command you. Na peso mitindo. Go. Bima. In Jesus name. Na na yesu. Amen. Amen. Go. Kende. Go. Kende. Go. Kende. In Jesus name. Na na yesu. Take her out. Take her out of here. Open your two hands. If you are here. If you are here. You suspect. Also suspected that something has tied something in your life. You don't like the way things are going. You don't know the altar where they tied you. And you are tired. Please stretch your two hands. Take, take her out of this place. Just take her out. Take her out. Take her out. Take her, out. Take her, out. Take her, out. Take her carry her out. Open your. Can I get an oil, Mama? Can I get an oil? Can I get an oil? Quickly, give me an oil. Give me an oil. Mafuta. Please, everybody on the altar should go. All of them. Take them out. Take them out. Father, Papa, look at me, everybody. When they close your book, they use sacrifice. Basalaka sacrifice to close your book. Pona kanga livre na yo. If you want to lose your book, so go lingo fongo la livre na yo. You raise a sacrifice. Esengen na yo pe kope sa sacrifice and lose your book. Pe o fongo la livre na yo. A lady met me. Mama moko yaki koko tananga i. In a church. Na iglis moko. In Congo here. Na Congo awa. Alumumbashi. Ezalaki na alumumbashi. In January. Ezalaki na janvier. I was preaching. Na ezalaki kote ya. She came to me and she said, I have epilepsy. She said, I have epilepsy. And she said to me, I have tried. I've done everything. 
He said, I never had epilepsy. I mean, epilepsy. Until people started coming to marry me. Kasi bato wazaraki koya koluka kobalangai. When they come to marry me, so kibaya kobalangai. Epilepsy will come. Epilepsy kobanda. And she said to me, Alobi nanga boy. What do I do? What do I do? Nasala nenge nini? God said to me, Zamba imsa kanga. Tell her to raise a dangerous sacrifice. Ye bi saye ape sa sacrifice ya makasi. I told her. Na ye ko ye bi saye. I say raise a sacrifice. Na imsa ape sa sacrifice. That we pain you. Oye ko salo pas na motema. She said to me, Aye ko lo mananga boy. I will close my account. Ami na ko kanga compte bancaire nanga i. Drop on the altar. Na ko yana ambongo nyosu na chene tumelo. I say I say it's up to you. Na imsa it's all dependent on you, mama. The next day, lobby nango. I had left. Ngana sina zonga ki deja. She went back. Azongi. She began to think. Amaniko kanisa. How will I close my account? Ah, she Mobi. didn't do it. On Wednesday. Mercedes you elandaki. She was she was in her house. Azalaki nanda kuna ye. She said, let me do it. Alobi ah la salango kaka. She went. Ayeko kende. Took all her accounts. Azimbo ngonyo salaki na account ya bank. Came and dropped on the. Ayeko pesa ne tumelo. When she dropped it on the altar. Nasi manango. Listen. She dropped it on the altar on a Wednesday morning. A pesa kimbo wana ne tumelo mercredi na tongo. When she dropped it, na simane kubonza. Nobody saw her. Mutu makote amona kiye. The chief protocol of the church. Responsable a protocol eglise wana. She came to sweep the church. Ayaki pona kopangu seglise. While she was sweeping the church. Tawa zoko mbapo kopangu seglise. She saw money on the altar. Amoni mbongo ne tumelo. She took the money. Ya zimbongo wana. And put in her pocket. She thought she was taking money. She didn't know she was taking epilepsy. After one month, the sister that dropped the money. Never experienced epilepsy again. She came to testify in February. By then, the chief protocol, responsible protocol, experiences epilepsy every day. She doesn't know what happened. Until the sister came for testimony. She said, when Prophet Chidi came, I obeyed God. I took my sacrifice. And I put on the altar. And since that day, I have never experienced epilepsy. When she said that, the chief protocol shouted. People looked at her. She held herself. After the service, she met the pastor. She said, Please. I listened to the testimony. One month ago, I came to church on a Wednesday. And I saw money on the altar. And I took it. From what she's saying, that was the money I took. He said, Papa. I'm singing, Papa. You know. I've been coming to you for prayer. For epilepsy. For, for one month now. Listen to me. You can give away your pain. Sorry? You can give away your pain. That thing that they used to tie you. You can give it away. Everybody open your two hands. Woman of God, pour this oil in my hands. Father, Papa, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare anybody I touch now, anything that closed their book, let it open now. In Jesus' name.